everyone, it's Allison from FinancialFlamingo.com. This video is not really going to be finance based, but I showed in Vlogmas that I got the Cricut Maker for Christmas. So I had a couple people ask me if I could show like setup and what I'm planning on doing with it and like what all it can do and that sort of thing. So I thought that would make a good little video. So um, it is currently the day after Christmas. I just got back into town where I live from like the bigger town <laughs> where I work that's like 40 minutes away. So I went to Michael's and Hobby Lobby and Best Buy. So I will show you guys what I got and then walk you through a little bit of how I set up my Cricut and then what I'm planning on using it for and all of that good stuff. So if that sounds interesting to you, please keep watching. Also subscribe to my channel if you're interested in like finance and budgeting and frugal living style videos. I put out new videos every week and my website is also financialflamingo.com. But let's go ahead and start talking about this awesome little cutting machine. So this is the Cricut Maker, you can see on the front. Um, this is like the newest, like, top of the line, I guess, version of the Cricut. Um, you also can get the Cricut Explorer. And I think there's like a Cricut Explorer 2 or something. I'm not super familiar with, like, the different models. Um, I knew I wanted this one because I also sew. You can see we are in my craft and office area. Um, but I also sew, so I wanted to get the Maker because it is the one that is kind of like advertised to cut fabric. It also can cut like craft wood, felt, paper, stickers, like anything, leather. It can engrave, like anything that you can think of, it like can do, at least for me. Like everything I could have possibly think of, like I looked up and found a project. So, um... I will go ahead and open it. So you open the top and it automatically opens up. So it's basically kind of like a printer except for it cuts instead of prints. So I have only played with it a little bit so far because I'm trying to make... One of the main reasons I wanted this Cricut is because I wanted to make my own planner stickers. Because I just... It's hard for me to constantly buy stickers and I don't stay on top of what I need to replace. So I was like, if I just design and make my own planner stickers, I don't have to worry about it. It's a little bit cheaper and I enjoy crafting and that sort of thing. So that was kind of my motivation behind it. Also to, like I said, cut out projects for sewing. Um, I could make decals, all those sorts of things, make gifts a lot easier. So it's just something that works very well for like my crafting um, tendencies, I guess. So, this is the purple one. You can see it is purple. So, I guess I will go ahead and show you guys what I got at Hobby Lobby, Hobby Lobby and Michael's today. Um, and kind of let you know what projects I'm planning on trying out. And I will show you guys some of those projects. Um, in Vlogmas, I showed a little bit of like my first projects. Because as soon as I set this up and wanted to play with it, my printer ran out of ink. So I didn't get to play with like trying to make stickers. I just cut out some cardstock and that sort of thing. So I'm excited to play with this today and see what else I can try to make. So let's go over and look at all of that stuff over there that I bought today for my Cricut. Okay, so this is kind of just random stuff. So first off, I'm just gonna go down the table in no particular order. This is just like a vinyl storage rack. This was from Hobby Lobby, I believe, and it was like $15. I know that you can get like cheaper, like Ikea hacks of these for like two or $3, but my closest Ikea is two hours away. So I went ahead and got this just for my sanity at the moment to keep stuff organized, and you will see why in a minute. So then I got, these are both Cricut vinyl packs. So like it's a sampler pack, so you can see it comes with all of these different colors, um, 20 sheets that are 12 by 12. So I thought this was good for getting started and trying out vinyl. And then this one is just like some different colors and it has double two sheets of each color, which I again thought would be good for like learning what I'm doing and um, probably ruining a bunch of vinyl trying to figure out what the heck I'm doing. Then I got this 12 by 24 standard grip mat. So 
Let's go back to my Cricut for a minute and talk about what it actually came with. So, sorry, we're back to my Cricut. I w forgot to talk about what it actually came with. So my parents got this for me for Christmas and it actually came in like a bundle. So I got some other stuff with it. So I honestly don't know what comes with a normal maker versus what comes with the one that I got with the bundle. So I'm just gonna show you guys what I got. And if you're interested in this machine, I'll have a link down below for it on Amazon and you can see what it actually comes with. So you can see I have these two different pens here um, that it came with, Cricut pens, and then they're gonna roll away. It also came with these other pens. So I'm, I'm pretty sure that all Cricuts come with this pen. I think I've seen that in other YouTube videos. And then this set of pens um, was part of the special holiday bundle. Then you can see, I have some other stuff in here. So this is a weeding tool. You can see it matches my machine. This was part of the bundle as well. And then those pens are gonna roll off the desk. No. Okay, and then this is a new thing for the maker, I believe. This is a rotary blade, which is what you use to cut fabric with. So this came with the machine as well. I think this might come with all of the Cricut makers, but I'm not positive. And then it also came with like this covering plastic case to keep it in. And then I also have in this little cubby, it also came with, um, this is a scoring wheel. So it's like not actually sharp, it's just to like score your projects. And this also um, came with the machine. I think this came with the special like set that I have. Okay, what else did I get? So it also came with the scraper that matches my machine. And then down in this drawer, it came with this Cricut ruler. That was not a good sound, sorry. It came with this ruler. And then it came with a variety of mats. So these are all 12 by 12 mats and I have a light grip, a strong grip, and a fabric grip. So you can see it did not come with a standard grip and that's why I decided to buy the 12 by 24 standard grip mat because I also wanted a bigger mat just for trying out some bigger projects. So let's go ahead and go back over to all the stuff that I bought, and then we will come back over to this machine and talk about how I set it up and all that good stuff. All right, back to what I got. So we talked about I got a standard grip 12 by 24 mat. I just got this to make some bigger projects on, and I did not have a standard grip mat, so I went ahead and got that. All right, so at Michael's, I went a little overboard, guys. Thank goodness for Christmas money, right? <laughs> so, this is just paper. I just got a variety of colors of um, regular paper to make paper crafts with. And then I also got a big, I can't get it out with one hand, a big pad of cardstock. So again, for paper crafting, but I just wanted to have a variety of colors. That goes to a sewing project I was doing. Okay, and then, sorry for all the rustling. Um. This was from Best Buy. This is just ink for my printer since I ran out. Um, so Michael's was kind of destroyed because they had a huge sale. But this is Cricut brand printable sticker paper. I probably will not use this when I make planner stickers, but I wanted to see like how it would work. And the only paper that I have right now is like matte, like you like labels that you put on a package that's what I used to make my stickers out of and that's probably not what I'm going to want to make them out of going forward when I can do nice ones so I decided to give this a try um, while I'm like playing and figuring out how my Cricut works then I also got a tool set which I really so I have this weeding tool already it came with my machine but I really wanted this spatula I really wanted these little tweezers or it's are these even tweezers it's like a little yeah they're tweezers but they have like a little bent end on them I don't know if you can see that so I wanted to get that and then there's just a little pair of scissors and then a smaller scraper than what I have so I just wanted to kind of have the basic tools for doing my crafts um, and then I got 
just some replacement fine point blades um a lot of this stuff like these were kind of expensive in the store i could have got them way cheaper on amazon but i don't have amazon prime and i was already in the store and everything was buy one get one 50 off for cricut stuff so i was like Plus I had a 50% off coupon for one original price item. So I just went ahead and got it because I was there. I went ahead and got these because I was there. I, I work in the same town as where Michael's and Hobby Lobby are, but I don't always have time to like stop places or if I'm at a client, I'm on like the other side of town. So it's not like I can just like pop into Michael's whenever I feel like it and get things. I have to drive 40 minutes. Um, unless I want to go to Walmart and our Walmart does not have a lot of cricket stuff. So, um, plus I hate Walmart if I'm honest. It's always crowded and it sucks. But, sorry Walmart. Um, this is where I got a little out of hand. So this is all vinyl. So I have, okay, well first off, transfer tape. Um, so I have rose gold because this matches my laptop and I want to put a sticker on my laptop. Plus, I love rose gold. I got black. I got this holographic at Michael's because it had this kind of rose goldy color. And I, they didn't have this at Michael's. So, these are from Michael's. Transfer tapes from Michael's. This is from Hobby Lobby. I got blue that matches my kind of business color. Plus, that's my favorite color. Um, more transfer tape. And more transfer tape. And then I got some navy some pink and then this is um stencil vinyl to make like stencils to paint on stuff so i got a whole pile of vinyl which is why i got the storage rack over there because this is going to be interesting but i kind of just wanted to get some stuff to play with um i want to make decals for financial flamingo that is a horrible sound um, so I kind of got the colors to do that. This matches my laptop and I just love rose gold. So I wanted to get that. Um, I have plans to make signs. Like I just have so many things that I want to make. So while I was there and stuff was on sale, I went ahead and just got stuff that wasn't project specific. Like I know that in the future I will make a bunch of stencils. So I know I'll use this. I need transfer tape to make any kind of decal with all this. So I went ahead and got a bunch of those while it was on sale. So this is a little overboard, but it was on sale and I just decided to go ahead and get it while I was there. So that is everything that I bought today. It was a little bit of a trip because I spent so much money, but like I don't have to buy this set ever again. This mat will last me a long, long time. Like a lot of this stuff will last me a while and I won't have to rebuy it like for probably months at least so that is what I got today let's go back to my Cricut and talk about how I set it up and kind of like some basics about it okay back to setting up the Cricut so all that I did to set it up I took it out of the box I set it up here on this table all you do is plug in the power to the back and this is the USB cord. I have been using it USB to my laptop, um, but it does do Bluetooth, so I'm gonna figure out how to set that up because that would be a lot more convenient than having the cord stretch all the way across my desk to my laptop. So if you've never used a Cricut before, it comes with um, Cricut Design Space, which is you can get online or desktop, um, and it's where you like design all your stuff. You can do ready-made projects. Like there's a ton of stuff in there and I'm not going to try to show you any type of tutorial or anything on that because I don't know how to use it yet. Like I've been in it for a couple hours one day and that's all that I've managed to get in it at this point. So that will be a learning process for me today with playing with this. Um, you can see with this machine, it has two different accessory slots so this is where you put a pen or um, you can get like a scoring stylus or there's a couple other tools that you can put in here and it will like draw and write on stuff instead of um, like if you want to address an envelope or like I did sorry I'm leaning way back I made this for my Instagram that is all drawn with the Cricut so that is a really cool feature. And then this side is where the blade goes. 
So you can see this is my fine point. It's not gonna focus. This is my fine point. Okay, it's not gonna focus that close, but this is a fine point blade. This came with the machine. I'm pretty sure this comes with all machines, but that is what I have in there at the, t at the moment. Um, so this is just like your little actual cutting guy. Um, and then the maker just has four buttons. So power, load and unload, go, and then pause. So that is pretty much the whole thing of setting up the Cricut. So all I did was plug it in, turn it on, hook it up to um, my laptop, and then the instructions give you a website to go to that's like Cricut design or Cricut.com slash setup or something like that. I don't I don't know what the actual website is, but it's an easy website to get to. You go to it and it instantly takes you through a walkthrough of how to set up your machine. It takes you through a little mini project to start off with and um, it gets you right into Cricut Design Space to kind of see what all is in there. So that is really just the setup. It was really easy to set up. Um, I will say Cricut Design Space is a little overwhelming at first, but there are tons of tutorials in the in Design Space on YouTube. There are tutorials everywhere. So if you cannot figure out how to do something, just look on YouTube or look on the in Cricut Design Space. There are tutorials in there and somebody somewhere will be able to show you what the heck you're trying to accomplish. So don't get too overwhelmed if you're like new to this machine. I did not have any idea what I was doing and I figured out how to like design a whole sheet of stickers. So we'll see how it goes cutting those out because I haven't tried yet, but everyone, not everyone obviously, I don't know where I was going with that, but there are so many tutorials on YouTube that you can totally figure out what the heck to do. There are just so many channels that talk about Cricut. So don't get overwhelmed by that. I promise you will figure it out. Alright guys, so there is my little overview of getting my Cricut and getting it set up to use for the first time. Um, I will probably have a future video on like trying to cut stuff and that sort of thing, but I don't want to get into that today just because, like I said, I still don't really know what the heck I'm doing with Design Space or anything like that. So um, if you guys are interested, I know this has nothing to do with finance, so if you guys are interested, let me know in the comments and I will definitely do that, especially with like... If you're interested in planner stickers or that sort of thing, I can show that in the future. But thank you guys so much for watching and you can find all of my social media and my blog, everything linked down below. There will be links to all these Cricut products down below. And please like, why we're out of focus, I don't know. So please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video or if you want to see more of my budgeting and planner videos. Um, I put up new videos every Saturday at the very least, and you can also check out my website. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!